Uh, just down the road from our cabin is a school uh, called the Alice School. I uh, happened to notice the other day when we were walking around down there that it was built in 1908. That's the birthday of the Church of the Nazarene. And of course, I said, how about that? That school is still in use and it looks pretty nice. And the Church of the Nazarene is still very much alive. And now we are around the world in many, many, many countries. Whoever built that school, their legacy continues on. We can also see the church continue on, and that's our legacy. So my prayer is that my involvement, the people's involvement, will keep the fire burning in the heart of the church until Jesus comes again. That's what I want my legacy to be. The Church of the Nazarene Foundation is your foundation, and we want to help you take Dr. Deal's wise counsel to leave a legacy. One of the easiest and best ways to create a legacy is to establish a charitable gift annuity through the Church of the Nazarene Foundation. A charitable gift annuity is a simple contract between you and the Foundation. Charitable gift annuities are life income gifts. Your contribution of cash or securities into a charitable gift annuity will provide an immediate tax benefit and guaranteed lifetime income. The actual amount of the income payments are based on your age at the time of the gift. Upon your death, the remaining funds in the annuity will be given to support the ministry or ministries you have designated. Charitable gift annuities benefit you and the ministries you care about. What a legacy to your faithfulness. Hi, I'm Tim Stearman. Not long ago, I was serving a church that had been the recipient of a wonderful gift from an older couple who at some point in their life had decided that they wanted to leave something behind for the church that they loved so much. Now, this couple had been part of the church for a long time. They were very faithful with their tithes and with their offerings, but somehow they wanted to do something more. And so they got in contact with the Nazarene Foundation and made arrangements to leave behind a legacy that would become part of the church's income once they were gone. The day came when the lady passed away and the older gentleman was still living in a nursing home for quite some time. And then he too went to be with the Lord. Well, the church was having a board meeting. It was one of those meetings where you're dealing with issues and you're not sure how you're going to take care of the problem that you're facing. And that problem was, how are we going to refurbish this building? They were desperate. In fact, they went to the Lord in prayer as the meeting was closing and desperately asked God to help them find the means to be able to restore their building. Would it be just coincidence that the next morning the pastor received a phone call from the Nazarene Foundation informing him that this older gentleman and his wife had left behind this annuity for the church. A few days later a wonderful check arrived and that money was used to refurbish that church to the point where once again today it's beautiful and now there's a new young pastor there and the congregation is growing again and good things are happening. Perhaps you would want to consider following the example of this couple in the church that I've just told you about. Maybe you would like to leave behind a legacy as well. Today is a great time to establish a charitable gift annuity. The return on a charitable gift annuity is far better than most investment accounts whose earnings have dropped in today's economic environment. We encourage you to act now while gift annuity rates are high. For more information, we invite you to visit our website at www.nazarenefoundation.org. You may also email the Foundation at info at nazarenefoundation.org or call toll-free at 866-273-2549. They will be happy to assist you with a charitable gift annuity or many other opportunities they can offer to meet your planned giving needs. We invite you to model generosity by leaving a legacy.